hello hello to whoever's there uh let me know if the sound is too loud or the music is too loud or too low or whatever i still understand those things and we are live um so hi there um we're going to proceed with the that of the development of Hunchat. This is pretty much the reason I, why I started streaming. Um, and since last stream, I actually did quite a while. Yesterday, I needed some cons like pure focus time, not streaming, just building this. And what I found, or at least the point where we stopped, was hey, join the club. <laughs> Uh, so the point where we stopped last time was somewhere around here, I think, when... I think the music's too loud. Not sure. I'll just put it a little bit lower. Um, so the point where we stopped, I was discussing with chat this whole explore page situation, and I was trying to do the navbar and get rid of as many icons as possible to make the navigation streamlined. And I ended up making some stupid mistakes. So, for example, here I removed the um, search button. That no, was not the search. Yeah, it was the choosing lists, the icon that that lets you choose lists. I removed that because I thought that was needed, but uh, it obviously was because if it isn't there, there's no actual way to choose what where you're gonna see. Lowering the music. Thank you. Um, there's no, I was saying, without this icon, there's no way you're choosing your lists. So I added it back on again, and then while using other apps, for example, here, I have Yobo and Instagram, and I realized that we didn't have an icon to see our notifications, which is dumb. It's just dumb. Uh, so I had to add that, and I made a few changes, ended up sticking with the button right there and actually sent it to a few people, tested it on the phone. Actually, let me open the, the fig map, because I'm gonna need it anyway. <coughs> fig map. Okay, the fig map is awesome. Um, and yeah, this is what we what I reached. So when you scroll up, when you're scrolling up, you see this navigation and you see also this navigation here and whenever you're scrolling down we're focusing purely on consuming content and creating it obviously so uh, this this is the screen you see when you're scrolling up or when you're static you're essentially you're essentially just choosing what to view and whenever you scroll down this navigation goes away because you already chose what you want to see and the bottom section also goes away, and you're left just with a button to create. Now, I'm gonna try to show this to you on the phone. Um, let's do the phone thing again. The thing again. For webcam, by the way, I use a software called SparkoCam. Let's me connect my DSLR to the computer pretty well. So, this is what the phone looks like, or what it looks like on the phone, better said when you're scrolling that up or static and this is what it looks like when you're scrolling down you're just scrolling through things and the button keeps there and you still have the indication on top to for you to know on which page you're on but then like I like to get involved in this communities of building things and just shipping products and one thing I realized with almost every new app is that it is coming on a dark theme and I personally use dark theme for almost everything for example I even use a launcher on my phone called ratio like this is my main screen it's just completely black um, and all of the phones all of the apps that support dark theme I use it so then I was like I'm building this new thing and I'm not ca accounting for dark theme why would I do that? So then I talked with Ernesto and I was also building a landing page and realized that we should make it dark theme. Hey yo, thank you for joining the club. Um, 
wow. <laughs> um, and then I realized that it was a mistake not to make it dark theme from the beginning, or at least dark mode, whatever you want to call it. So this is where this page comes up. And now, this is obviously a very heavy video platform, so most of what you're going to see are going to be videos of everyone of other people and I can and I cannot control the color of those videos but I can control the color of the background and the color of navigation so that's what I did and let I, I really need to find a better way to to show things on the phone this is really unorthodox I'm literally just zooming in manually <laughs> okay this is what it looks like on the phone and it's same scheme, like this is gonna disappear when you scroll up, this is gonna disappear when you scroll down, I mean. And the thing is, even even forgetting all the dark theme shenanigans and that it saves battery and whatever, there are also some studies that have chosen that have chosen that have that have shown studies that have shown that have shown that um, users actually prefer dark mode at at least a great percentage of users, users prefer dark mode, especially along the techie industries. So programmers, designers, and all that stuff. And forget even forgetting all of that, I think the dark theme just looks better. So that's kind of a win-win situation. Um, and I went on to build other things with this dark theme. So for example, the, the page for creating creating a video or a chat. I was thinking about this and I, I think we should call the single videos chats because this is hunt chat and the whole app, the whole concept of the app is just conversation, 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 a synchronous conversation. Um, so I thought about calling the, the small videos the chats. So for example, when you're going to publish, it says chat because that's essentially what you're, what you're doing. Faz-me uma dedicação, por favor. Eu não, não sei quem tu és, ó, oh, rindo molhado. Mas está tá aí a dedicação. E... 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 That's what you were seeing, the live stream starting soon thing. Thank you, Tony. Um, and I was just sketching around essentially like colors. I've, we're pretty much fixed on the color. I didn't give much much thought to it. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Um, so I was just experimenting with icons. There, there's this cool app that lets you just try out icons on your phone, and it's gonna be one of these, I think. And also logos. This is just something I sketched really quickly. I actually like this one, with just a plain black background. It looks good, I think. Let me know. And all of this to reach what I was saying about convos, where is it? Yeah, so a single a single video is gonna be called a chat and the thread of videos is gonna be called a conversation or for short convo, because no one's gonna say conversation anyway. We're just too lazy. Um, and the logic here is just you record the video, this is just the timer of the video. Um, you record it, you edit it, there's not going to be much editing editing things uh, because we want to make it raw. We want to make this like as pure as possible, low on edits. And so we added the function to cut it according to your timeline. Because there's always things you want to cut out and that's fine. That doesn't really take from the authenticity of the video. And then you add the other screen, which is just adding your tags, descriptions and links and chatting. Okay, and as you can see, it's all dark mode from now on. <clears throat> I went with this, let me show you the colors actually here separately. So these are essentially the colors 
we are using now this, this, and white. That's not pure black, because one thing you should know when designing dark themes, oh, lo lots of hearts in chat, hearts in chat. Um, one, one thing you should consider when doing things on dark mode is that you should never use like a pure black. That's a bad habit because it, it um, enhances high strain. So use something close to black. Maybe it will even change to something lighter because it shouldn't be this dark. And this is this orange is a good color because it just works on both ends. I just like it that way. Also on the subject of color, is this live? Yes, this is live, Sophie. <laughs> um, on the on the on the subject of color, I also changed the, the shape, not the shape, the, um, the appearance of the buttons, because the buttons looked good, but I realized that they looked way too static, just to they were not they were not fascinating. So this is the old button. I had created it's just a plain and simple with an icon and this is the new button and it might not look like much of a difference from this perspective but if you put it on a, a new color you're gonna see that they are in fact quite different sent back so let's just put this one on white and this one on black and yeah this the new button. I added some, I added some shadows. You can see here, like some drop shadows with an 11% of blur, and that go from a lighter, lighter orange over here to a darker orange over here, and it just adds up to that effect of like it being live and popping, and it, it just calls your attention more, which is something that a main button should do. So I, th I think it accomplishes it quite well. I'm still considering adding a stroke around it because if you notice, not here. Oh yeah, this is just a splash screen. But I was saying if you notice on this icon. Wait, it's not on this one. Oh, it is. Um, even though it is very light, there's a, a stroke, an orange stroke outside of the, the icon. And it just also helps adding to that effect. Same thing here. A stroke that goes from orange over here to black. Same over here from black to orange, so inverted. And same thing here, but all orange. So I'm still considering whether or not I should add um, a stroke around here. I guess I can try it right now. Let's see what this does. Um. So here, add a stroke, color, let's add the main orange, and you can barely see it. Actually, you cannot see it at all here, or, oh, you can, nice. But here it's more noticeable because also the color, if you notice the color of this button, it is not a single color, it is a gradient. So whereas here, the whole button is this color, which is our main color, here I insert the gradient from here to there. That just helps the, the button pop a little more and it, it just looks better. So I guess I'll try with that later. Just wanted to show this for now and giving you give you a quick update from the changes from last stream. And then I also looked at the on my moment of concentration. I was working from like midnight to 6 a.m. It was a good good productive night. I looked here at the basic wireframe. And I realized that this whole part needed to be finished. It just needed, it was a priority. And only then could I move to other things. So I just copied this part and decided that I would finish it in one night. And that's essentially what I did, except for this part. Maybe I should do it today. So right now we have the thread view. So whenever you click on the conversation, Whenever you click on a chat, let's just call it chat from now on because that's going to be its name. So you're in a chat and you can swipe. Uh, where is it? Swipe left to see the thread. 
So remember the, the scheme of the thread, the videos here, and you want to see what's after and what's before. You can see all of that quickly. If you just swipe left, left, yeah, swiping left, and you're going to get this view. And what this view allows you to do is see the videos on that conversation, on that convo, I call it convo, and see like who published them, the description, when they were published, if you've seen them or not, and the time, the time that has passed between the multiple videos that were published. I'm gonna also open this on the phone because I think this screen is pretty interesting. Oh, my phone just died or something. Not, don't know what's happening. Anyway, I guess the phone idea is dead. <laughs> well, um, here I am talking good about the Figma app and then Figma app just crashes on me. Okay, it's back. Okay, here we go. Um, so this is what it looks like on the screen and you're just going to be able to swipe through the videos. And again, see the video description. Okay, let me just go to the first one again. So you're going to see the video description. You're going to see the time it was published, if it was open or not. This means it was open. Whereas this, for example, is the, the hollow circle means you've not seen it. And the time that has passed between the two videos. And the... Uh, this, this is an interesting view to, this is an interesting way to just have an overview of everything. And quickly glance over conversations. Combos, combos. Now another one of our important features is the ability to link resources to all of the posts you make. Because that's important, sometimes you're discussing things and you want to link stuff. So I created this screen that lets you do just that. So whenever you're watching a video, you click on visit, visit link resources and this page is going to show up. This page is going to show the, the things that you've linked. So for example, here I've linked three, three websites and they all show up here and it's, it's, a, it's a scrollable list. So you can add more. Let me see if this one's working on the phone. Yeah, I'm not going to zoom in, but you get the point. You can just zoom in, um, just scroll on all of the link resources. Don't know if we're gonna have a limit or not, but if we do, it's gonna be way above average, or average social media at least. Because I, th I personally think it's pretty ridiculous that you cannot link things anywhere on Instagram. I know they make it because of influencer culture and whatever, but yeah, no. Um, oh yeah, and then we also have the first responses. So on that tree. If you're watching this video, oh. if you're watching this video, this many people have answered the first video, right? And do you want to see the video that comes? If you want to see the video that comes next, and that is the top video, you just have to wait, and the app will do it for you. But let's imagine you want to choose one of the other videos, or just see what other people answered to this particular chat. You can simply click on the comment section, so oh, here, um, comment section, so you, it's this icon, so you have likes and comments just like on other social medias, but here the comments are chats and are videos that someone else made in with regards to this particular video. And you're gonna essentially see this view. And this view, I, I know that it looks confusing now because all of the videos are the same because I couldn't bother to find new images for putting new videos. I'm gonna have to do that eventually. So might as well, maybe I should do it sooner than later. But yeah, this is the view of the first responses to the video. And one of the things we're trying, I'm trying to achieve here is always have the title of what you're seeing on top of the page. So for example here, the titles here, responses to this video to make things like really clear to what it means that what you're seeing. And the same thing also works for here. 
the explore page and the lists page. So we want to want to always make clear what you're seeing and in which part of the app you are. Water time, stay hydrated. With this being said, there are a few things I wanted to work on today. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of them or maybe none. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to show the icon, the thread view. And I think this is what I'm going to focus now. The profile owner's point of view. So, on previous stream I've developed the personal profile. I still haven't put it into dark mode. But I guess that's the first thing we're going to do. So when you open the profile, this is what you see. You see the video bio. So a video of, because this is all video, we chose to have a video of someone saying who they are, the content they post, whatever, whatever they want to say. Um, we have the description and then when you scroll down, you have the lists or the tags that that person has created. and. Sorry. Under which she posts or he. So first things first, let's start to do this on dark mode. It's not gonna be much work honestly, it's just a, a rectangle here. Send it to the back. Let's change the color of these first. So this, 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 this become white. This becomes the black background, this white, and the music black again. Yeah, like, because of, um, so many of our screens are just covered with... Oh, this not centered, is it? No. Yeah, the OCD was kicking in. Because I was saying, because so much of our screens are just covered with video and covered with content, making things dark mode is just a matter of changing a few things here and there. And I guess I should also update the button to the new one. Again, let me remind you that I'm not building a design system here by any means. I'm just throwing ideas at the wall and see if they see if they work. So later, and I'll probably gonna stream it. I'm gonna do an actual design system with everything in place okay so this is what the new version looks like and this all went uh, bold because of my fonts problem I've talked about this on previous streams I'm not gonna talk about it again I'm already way too pissed at it but yeah I'm using a new font I'll just say medium should go up <clears throat> and we're set okay now this is what you see when you click on someone else's profile I still have to do what do you see on your own profile so there must be places to edit to edit your info so let's just say we need edit info make this bigger we're gonna need to edit info. Yep. Maybe this is the only thing we should do. Just add a button to add your edit your own info, and then have a screen inside of that that does everything else. This way, we would still keep your profile clean and have all the other functionalities somewhere. Okay, this is a good possibility. Let me see how the profile looks here. Yeah, I guess they do the same exact thing, for example, on, on Twitter. This is my own profile. Go follow me on Twitter, bling bling. Um, they do the same thing. Everyone sees the profile in the same way, but there, there's the edit profile thing. Okay, let, let's also do that. So, from this perspective, let's just go here for a new one. Maybe it should just be over here. 
we, we might not even have to change the, the profile. This is great. <laughs> Less work is the best work. Yeah, because you can just click here and then like edit info is going to show up. Whereas if you're on someone else's, you click here and then it's going to be like mute, block, uh, I don't know, all of the other things. Hmm, interesting. Also, I've just realized I don't have a follow button here. That's bad. <laughs> How could I forget that? Um, yeah, maybe the button here should be follow instead of create a video. Because when you're consuming it... Um, hmm. yeah, let's do that. Let's just remove this button. And click on it. Okay. So let's say this is follow tag. Because remember, you don't follow people here, you follow their tags. <clears throat> Even though that counts as a follower for someone, you're following the specific tag. And if you want to follow everything, you follow the tag. All tags, okay? So this is inside the frame. So this should be... Content bottom. No, no bottom. Center. This way. This needs to be way smaller. 18. That's fine. White. Let's again resize this. This like this whole this reason is why I love Figma. It just saves us so much work on resizing things. Also, this does not look centered for whatever reason. Okay, let's just pretend it is centered right now. Do it a bit bigger. Yeah, it should work. Follow tag. Um, is it too small? Maybe. Oh god, this just happened again. Oh. No, I don't think it is too small. Oops. Center it here. Okay. Too low. Let's go up. Again, I'm just gonna look at this on my phone and see what it looks like, because that's that's the main thing. That's what matters. Does it look good on the phone? Yes or no? Yeah, I think it does. Maybe I'm gonna do it a little bit bigger, but... And the, the button's gonna be fixed to the screen in the actual... The actual thing but yeah this is what it looks like now just scroll through it maybe it's too small yeah I'll just call it too small and redo it <clears throat> yeah, this is great we do we'll not even have to edit the, the thing Let's make this a uh, 20 and increase the size of the button just enough. Yep, perfect size right here. Just again, I'm, I promise that for next stream, I'm going to find a way to actually stream my phone here. Stream my phone like somewhere around here so that you can see how it looks on a phone. That would be awesome. Not sure how it is possible. Maybe I should just add a webcam pointing at my phone. Oh, that's a possibility. I don't exactly have another camera that I can hook up here, but I'll manage. Okay, so let, let's build the edit info then. Let's just delete this one. And 
put it here. And I always like to start from a base that I already have. But here I don't have any bases, so I think the closest one is gonna be this one. Just gonna copy it. Paste it over here. Call it a day, iPhone Pro, iPhone 11, iPhone X. Call this, add it, profile, info. Now, black screen again. So, this is just the iPhone standard thing. It should be white here. I totally forgot it. Oh, dark. Now this goes here, this goes here. Again, this is not part of the app, it's just part of the standard iPhone thing that always shows up, or at least almost always shows up, so you might as well just account for it. Um, put this on light mode again. I mean dark mode, dark mode. Rectangle on the back. And yes, I know I don't need to do a rectangle, I can just color the actual frame, but I like to do it this way to keep always the frame clean. Maybe it's stupid. Is this the same thing? Yes, good job, Zay. Okay, this goes on back. Oops. This goes on the back. And now, let's just first do a thing of lists, because like, whenever you're building something like this, you should first do something like a content audit to make sure that you actually know what you're going to put into the screen. Um, and I didn't do that. I'm just scrubbing this through and thinking about it as I do it. So. The things that you're gonna need to edit are the video bio, upload video bio. Oh, what the? Upload video bio. <clears throat> then you're gonna need to edit your description. description then I, I guess edit the username edit username edit then what is this called again this is like this is the username username and then this is name um, what's it called in other apps Sc screen name add screen name change password added links so for example here I just put in my portfolio this is type of link that you can show. Add a location. And then you also need the ability to create lists and create tags. But I'm not sure if this should be here. Maybe that one should be somewhere else. I am not sure where because I haven't thought it through, or at least not in the way that I should have. And also the whole create lists and tags, I know they are confusing to people that are like out outside of the, the actual production of this, I know they're confusing, so I still need to find a much better way to explain them, like, lightly, because the, th the thing is, these are main features of the app. 
it's the, the content separation part and if people don't get it in a matter of seconds even they're gone they're, they're not gonna care about it it's gonna be way too much cognitive load for a social media app so I want to avoid that this needs to be explained as lightly as possible Let's keep these, these two out for now, because I think they should be somewhere around here, like next to the actual next to the actual posts, or for example, on the posting screen. Maybe it should be here, or like... Uh, no. Create a new tag, something like that. Maybe this is the way to go. Just gonna underline it to see it later. But yeah, in terms of lists, maybe it should also be somewhere around here in your own profile. Oh yeah, because you also need to be able to edit this one. Okay, no, this this whole list thing needs a dedicated button because you're gonna you're gonna need to manage who's on that list, um, the title of that list, and the description of that list. At least you're gonna need these three things, and they're gonna need their own separate screen. So I guess I'm gonna add a button here. For editing list lists and let's look here. Edit Edit Location, Edit Road. I I'm trying not to go with the standard pencil, but maybe that's the right choice. Put this one, because Kind of looks like you're no yeah it, it looks like editing a rope. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what it says. Let's just do this. Control C, delete. Control V. Control Shift G. Delete the square because I'm not using those restraints for now. Icons don't look like the best thing ever. I have to admit that much. Even though I'm a Google fan, someone from Google, if you're watching this, hit me up. So, icon button set. Not icon, icon button. <laughs> Edit, editing list button set. We are off to the races. Just uploading this here. Let me just open Twitch to check on the stream because I just realized I didn't check on the stream once before starting it. So I'm not even sure if I'm live or whatever. All right, what's this? What's this one? Oh, we're back to Man City. We're back to Man City. Streaming. And West Channel. Okay, yeah, it's all set. Um, so, we need to add all of these things into, into the screen. And how am I going to do that from scratch? I don't know, I should probably just get some inspiration on I'm just on dribble right now. Um, edit, let's type edit, what? Profile, profile edit, screen light. I know you're not seeing anything right now because um, I'm just sharing Figma and I'm looking this up on Google. But I just want to get some inspiration for starting. Let's put this here. Oh, grab another one. 
this is like the basic standard one. And it works, so I'm not hating on it at all. Copy image. Oh, this one just reminded me of a few things. Because we're also gonna have the, the payment thing. So we need that. Yeah, we're gonna need way more way more settings than I was expecting. Um these go on this side for now. So payment options. And like subscription or whatever. Subscription. Then a clickbaity button. Not clickbaity, but I, I need to endorse it. Just um, upgrade to Unchat Pro. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna call Unchat Pro, but I'm just gonna say a brave plan for now. It should have some kind of name though, because it just helps people talk about it. Okay, more settings. What kind of settings should be here? Now maybe maybe I should focus on the on like the basic things now. Let's just say let, let's just take care of the first ones and then look at other things because I'm <laughs> I'm kind of getting overwhelmed now. It's a lot of things build from scratch. Okay, let's copy these ones over here just to get the, the sizes and the fonts. So, video bio. Upload new video bio. Upload a new video bio, and so we should have a preview of it. I'm just gonna get the preview from one of these. Okay, there we have it. Oh, nope, because I also want to. But actually, I don't want the description now, so this was fine. But this one's gone. This needs to disappear. This goes right here. Now this is an option, so it doesn't need to be like letter 22. That's just ridiculous. Let's go for 18. And we're gonna have upload new video bio. We should also This, these probably should be underlined. Then we're gonna have the actual bio. Take this out of here for now. These, this goes to 18. Edit. Where was I lining this last time? Just copy these two. Father, like Control C, Control V here. Think about it. Just to get the lining on the correct place. The last time. Guess you should do it. use grids. Don't do it as I'm doing it right now. <clears throat> Add a description, and I'm I'm just gonna write the description. Ah, font problems again. Ignore this, you didn't see anything. Go with medium, okay. So this goes here. And obviously not like this. Yeah, I need the grids. It's this grid, this is 5, 16, 16. That's what I was going for. So layout grid. 
volumes 5, 16, 16. And I can barely see them. So I'm gonna go for 20%. Okay. And then the vertical ones are. Yeah, these are kind of arbitrary, but I went with 8, 16, 16. I've changed them along the way. But they just, they just help. And there are some standards that you should follow. Okay. I don't think I'm following most of the standards right now. Because YOLO, that's why. So we have here the video bio, and this should be like a central piece, because again, it's video, and that's what the, all of this is about. This doesn't need to be this big, it's just a button. So you can click on it to preview it, and then set it up. medium. Maybe. Let's just write update instead of upload new. Update video bio. Yeah. You're gonna be required to have one of these. Update video bio. Yeah, that looks, that looks about right. And these should have a fixed distance between them. So like this. 12. No, not 12. It should be a multiple of 8. So 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. And we're good. And as you can see, I, I don't really respect the vertical line, the horizontal lines. They're just more of an of an indication, like a guideline, than anything else. I don't strictly follow them. Now, should this be? This side, or? Okay. This here. Yeah, there's plenty of space here to write something. Okay, this, this might work. Um, it's also lower. It's, I'm gonna look at it on the phone, because one thing that I find really hard, at least for me it is really hard, is to know the, the, size, the size of the fonts that I should use for mobile, especially when I'm looking at it on the, at it on the phone. For example, 18 looks too big here, and it actually is. I'm gonna try and change it to 15, and it looks fine. So let's just keep it at 15. And let's have this here. This th these things are way too crammed into the same space. That's not what I want. Lower them, and it already looks way better. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to show it to you on this on the um, phone. Where where why did my software close? Yeah. By the way, don't use Sparkle Cam. It's not that great. So this is what it looks like now. All of the things are gonna be compressed here on top. And I think this is a good approach. I'm gonna be able to fit most of the things there. And there's obviously gonna be a, a size limit to your description. And probably to your video bio. Not sure again. Let's just say you can write this, no, not this much, because if this already occupies 
this amount of screen. Let's say you can write double. What would happen if you wrote double? Double. Just do the same thing here. Control C, Control V, Control V. So if you wrote double, I think it would just be way too big. Uh, mm, yeah, not so much, but let's just say until the second smiley face. Because also bios tend to be short until the second smiley face. Yeah, this looks about right. Keep it here for now. I think this is a good size of description to have. How many words? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 words. Uh, how many do I have on Twitter, for example? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. 11, 12, whatever. It's more or less the same thing, probably even more than Twitter. Not even sure if I'm utilizing it all, but it should be fine. So, let's just start doing little checks on this. Because they're satisfying to do, that's all. No, that's just a nice screen. Come on. Yeah. Okay, update. Update video bio, edit description. You can just click on it to edit it. I mean, it looks, it sounds pretty straightforward because it is. Edit username. Okay, we need to do that one. So let's keep the theme consistent and go for edit. Username. So this person's username is Janet Fisher. I, I made all of these names up, by the way. So I hope they don't represent anyone. They probably do. But that's just another problem. And then add, we need, also need to edit the screen name. These are going to be one line, obviously. Edit username. Let's try to see if it fits here nicely. Edit screen name. Was this what I called it? Edit screen name, yeah. And these... I'm just going to hide these lines for now. They're not helping me that much. Um, these should be just four. Four pixels away. How many pixels away are they? I'm looking at the phone again. And just going with what looks right. Remember that that's the main thing here. Just testing things. Add a username. This goes here on the bottom. This goes somewhere in the middle. Okay. And I'm just checking something on Slack. What is happening? Okay, this look this does look like a feasible it's way like to edit things. Maybe they are too. I'm just gonna open Twitter on my phone really quick the best moment. and see what it looks like on Twitter because that's my main guideline here. File, edit profile. Oh, things are way larger. 
Okay, things are way larger. Let's just say that. I'm actually gonna screenshot it. And save. And I'm gonna send it to myself on Twitter. Because that's a good way to share files. <laughs> For as stupid as it may sound. I kind of send images to myself on Twitter a lot because the compression rate is not nearly as high as it is on Instagram or WhatsApp or some of those apps. Someone knocking or is it the mic? When? Uh, when was this sent? I'm not checking the chat so I just saw it now. I don't think anyone was knocking. I don't know. Too late, okay. Okay, getting the photo here. Copy, Figma, Control V. Yep. So, just to compare the size of the fonts again. I always need some some sort of comparison. Twitter versus Hunt Chat. It's a battle of our times. Break the front. This sent back. Yeah, the font's at least a couple points bigger. I'd say it's 17. Yeah, their font's 17. Again, on these things I don't tend to discuss it, like these small changes, I like to go with whatever the main dogs are doing, simply because they don't affect the app that much, but they have tried and tested pretty much every, every one of these little differences, so I should at least somewhat respect their decision. This is what I want to do. Okay. Nah, it doesn't look good. It does not look good. Let's take this out of here. Description. Okay, let's do a new screen. A bit like this. I like to keep my trash around. <laughs> not literally, okay? I'm not a, not a hoarder. Orderer, or I don't know how you say it. Okay, let's do it like this. This goes on top. This comes to the bottom. Turn on the lines again. This comes here. This here. What things do I need to add? For example, we have here the edit screen, screen name, user, username, screen name, edit links. Yeah, that's something I can put there. Yeah, maybe location and links. These are the things I should do there. Username, location, and finally links. I think I'm just gonna remove the word edit because it should be pretty self-explanatory otherwise I'm just gonna be repeating myself like edit, edit, edit and that's just not gonna work more time again oh, by the way, today I remember that I can't use Spotify music 
so my videos are not gonna get copyrighted. I just don't wanna don't wanna get my videos um, taken down because I need the archive to keep all of this stuff for historical pur purposes. Okay, here on your profile, you're yeah. only. You're only gonna be able to have one link because that's the link you should focus on. You're not gonna fill your profile with links. That's not how things should work. I guess this can be smaller. Fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, let's try and switch. Okay, I'm gonna back on 18 try to organize it this way if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't yeah 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 everything then just just gonna change the text to I think I had Lisbon Lisbon Portugal so my links HTTP dot dot. Do you want to come over? Have you visited my portfolio my portfolio today? If not, do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and extend this to occupy less space on the screen. Hey, now will it look right. better this way right. or right. inverted? And what I mean by inverted is making these a size 15. Oh. Yeah, and dark. Then these a size 18. And white. And to me, okay. I also need to change the bolts. Let's let's try that. This can go away. This is why I like to copy everything. Like, if I was just deleting and moving along the way, I would have no term of comparison. Now I do. Go from bold to medium, not medium, Roman, Roman, and these go from Roman to bold. What, I, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to, oh, I'm just trying to understand what makes more sense from a user perspective, from a UX perspective. Because when you go on this when you go on this page, you want to edit your credentials, right? You want to edit your info. So, are you going to be looking for a username for the word username, or are you going to be looking for your actual username? And to be honest, I don't know quite well the the answer here, but I think I'm going to stick with these ones. One, because they look better. That's also important. Yeah, but from a UX perspective, I think this one makes more sense. But then if I add, for example, the description, I didn't change it now. But if I add it in bold, it's just gonna be way too much. Like this is not okay. Or maybe it is, let's find out. From 18 to 15, as I said. 15, 17 to 18, then this goes to this color. Hmm. I'm gonna see how it looks on the phone, and then I'll probably have some sort of comparison or decision. It's 
always so hard to start with a blank canvas. You're just like, yep, now what? Okay, and Figma crashed again. Figma not making great impression here. Okay, the second one, look, the third one looks good. I don't know, I just... I think I don't like them in general. But yeah, this, this one looks better on the phone. So, I'm gonna go with that one. And also, the words just username, location, whatever, just way more visible. I'm gonna go along this line. So, with the, the titles, bolder and the other thing smaller that's what I'm gonna go for so this one goes down these can all be green Add a description, add a links, but they look they don't look good here in this position. That's for sure. Okay, this can actually go just on the front. Um, bring the front. Yeah, this can just be here. Great. I'm gonna copy the effects that I use here. I just want to see which type of shadow I used. 112, 50. Facts. 112, 50. Okay, and then copy the blur section. This goes away. Oop. This goes out. This comes in. And now I need to mask it. So it goes inside the mask group over here. Okay. And we're pretty much set. Does it look the best like the best thing ever? No. This will probably take me a while to do. The screen is is being harder than I thought. Mm. I ask you about love. Had to quote me a sonnet. What is this doing? If you've never looked at a woman and been totally wrong. Okay, maybe this should also be over here instead of trying to center like everything. Next to a woman or I mean, align with the corners. But, nah, it looks better here. Let's try to organize it this in other way. So just gonna try and oops move the link here. And same thing for the location and just leave these two here and leave the description. Because these are separate things. But then it also overloads this part. Okay, maybe these are the problem. You should just go over here. Add a description. name must be before the username and screen name must be before anything else 
or at least before the, um, the link and the location, just because they're more important. Let's make them go until here. Okay, same thing for the location, for the, the screen name. Starting here and going until here. Then same thing with the links. And the location. Okay, this is like way more organized. The problem is this top part. Maybe I've been focusing too much on it. While I should also care for the other parts. Oops. Why is this smaller? I don't get it. I'm not gonna bother for now. Don't show the, the video bio. I should be there. It's gonna it's gonna give way more personality to the thing. Hmm. Add a description. Description goes here. Okay, I think I'll I'll get somewhere with this. Pretty sure. Okay, it's starting to look like something. This disappears, it was a bad idea. This goes on the bottom. Let's do the same thing as I did um, here. Here it's on top. But, uh, I think here it looks best on the bottom. Just because that's where all of the other options are. Again, I'll have to look at this on the phone. But yeah, most of the most of the informations are here. Check them out. Yeah, this looks good. Actually, maybe it will look even better when this is up. Yeah, lined, lined with the arrow, it looks much better. On the phone, obviously. Not somewhere else. Um, put these up, and what do I need more? Change the passwords, okay, that's an important one. Probably be a separate screen. Blow me high so, but, nah, let, let's try to make one screen. Sure that so, I what do we need? You. We need a uh, current, current password. Just put dot dot dot. So we have current password. Re uh, should it say repeat? No, I just say new password. New password. Will this work on the same screen? Because I think it's just too tiny right now. Even with the letters at 17, these type of screens are usually way bigger. So I'm just gonna remove it for now. And 
Oops. So change password. And the change password button is just gonna be this. Yeah. Change password. Okay, then we also need um, payment options. So this will be also a separate screen. So manage payments. This is going to be for both receiving and and paying the app. Payments and subscription. I mean, this. Nah. This is just the manage payment things. And we're gonna need the upgrade plan. Let's upgrade, please. We need some money to keep this thing doing. Um, so, manage payments. And it should say somewhere that you have a free account. Oh, that's gonna be on the bottom, so. Account, upgrade plan. It's not going to look like this, obviously. So change password and manage payments. This is all for now. Put them somewhere around here. Example here and here. And I'm starting to question whether this should just all be one thing or should I align these two? Because I think it will look better if they're all just continuously flowing. Um, can we have a count? Again, we don't want to make the, the app bad to use if it's free. We just want it to lack some features, and obviously, we're gonna say in some places like upgrade. So, we're currently free user. You currently have a free account, I mean. to enjoy the full Unchat experience. This, this should be its, oh, its own big thing. Oh, that's... I'm gonna actually build it now. have a free account upgrade to enjoy the full bunch of experience then there should be a button somewhere that says upgrade so Way too similar. 
I don't like how this is looking. And I'm getting tired. <clears throat> I think this is what we're gonna stay with for now. And just take this out of here. And... Because I'm getting really tired. Let's just do this and then try the different version. Oh. Oh. Try the different version. With these all lined up, so this would look something like username, screen name, these. So this should be on top. Control G. Control G on this. This is gonna be. This is gonna need to be bigger. This moves closer to the center. Down, down, down. I'm now I'm now reminding myself we're gonna we're gonna also need something that says delete account or something. Because yeah that's required. <laughs> or we could do those those shady things where you have to send an email to delete your account and then we have to reply fifteen days later, but no, no, that just fucked up. No company should do that. Screen name, username, location, links go after, location, links. And then change password and only then manage payments. Yeah, this looks way better. I'm also looking at it on the phone and like, yeah, no, no possible comparison. Let me show it to you and let's end the stream with this one screen. Okay, so this is what we built today and what it looks like. It's pretty basic. It gets the job done. That's exactly what I was going for. And yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna end the stream now. Get ready because I prepared a whole fancy thing up here. <laughs> I just exported these screens to put on the beginning and the end of the stream. So I'm gonna put one of those up now. Thank you. Thank you for watching and going along with the development of Hunchat. See you on the next stream. I hope you liked it. Peace. And this is the part where I put the, the be right back ending soon. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. See ya.